And we want to go right back to Ginger. See, you flew right into the middle of Hurricane Lee. Ginger, tell us about this experience. Wow, so George, the plane behind me is called Kermit. The other one they use, Miss Piggy. And I've been looking at the data from these my entire time as a meteorologist. Of course, I've respected the hero hurricane hunters that collect all that data. But now that I've had a chance to be on there with them, and yes, they gave me a shot at flying, getting behind the yoke, uh, not before we got into the eye, of course. <laughs> but now I understand how great and how big this is for our safety. All right, we took off. Let's go see Lee. This morning, we just flew into Hurricane Lee. We are doing what they call the first pass, and I'm just starting to see some storm structure. Wow. Witnessing something few people will ever see. Then we plow through Lee's wide swath of 115 mile per hour winds. There's a hurricane. Yeah, there it is. It's bumpy, nausea inducing, and this is where we spend the next three hours. Just before sunset, and we're seeing kind of a messier eye on the inside, hoping to get a clearer picture before the sun goes all the way away. Expecting. Noah runs two missions a day, flying into hurricanes to gather data. From Lakeland, Florida, we flew east-southeast for two hours. All right, now let's bring it back to the right. Hey, well, that's good. That's, that's good. good right. I even got a chance to fly the plane. We watch as the experts gather critical data from inside the hurricane. This instrument is called a drop sign. It is going to go right here. Leanne's going to drop a bunch of them into this tube, out the airplane, into the eye wall of the storm. It is going to get data like temperature, pressure, wind speed, and all that goes into tonight's computer models. One release midpoint. That instrument falls through the storm, and in real time, it radios back data. We made several passes through the eye walls in what they call a butterfly pattern, measuring several parts of Lee. This plane is stacked with high-tech gadgets and scientists, all getting essentially a CAT scan of the hurricane. One of the hunters is a legend, Jack Parrish. He's passed through the eye wall of a hurricane more than 700 times in the last 43 years. What would a hurricane forecast be without the instrumentation and the data we're about to collect? You have to initialize a forecast model with really good data. And lacking the data in the core of the hurricane, we'd still be back there at that four-day, maybe five-day forecast period. And that data has been invaluable, especially over the past decade. We've seen more than two dozen storms rapidly intensify in the Atlantic Basin, often right before hitting land. So as the climate warms, though, we do anticipate seeing more rapid intensification. You all will be able to capture that. We'll be able to capture it as it comes on. You know, a lot of things feed into rapid intensification, surface, sea surface temperatures, shear, all of those things. It has made the forecast better considerably in the last couple of decades. And I have to say that plane behind me has more than a dozen instruments on it, five radars included, and NOAA is stepping it up. They are now using sail drones. That's the instrument you see there. That kind of, you know, unmanned, obviously, goes under and through the hurricane on the surface so it can utilize what's happening from the plane and also there. They're also starting to use drone drones that they're going to be dropping out of the plane and they can fly around, get even more data. I do have to admit, uh, it was a tough ride, and they said it wasn't even that bad. At points, they have to fly, they call it crabbing, where they're sideways going into those headwinds to try to get to the right point to drop all of the instruments. But I did get this, my first eye of a hurricane flying right in. Yeah. <laughs> wow. I love all those high-tech gadgets and Kermit in the window. Ginger, what a cool assignment. Thanks for bringing it to us. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.